wanted to talk to you today about my hair story. So as you guys know, my hair changes all the time. I have gone from red to blonde to brunette to highlighted brunette, um, kind of all over the place. Even when I was a kid, I went blue, purple, pink, all different colors and today I kind of wanted to tell you guys all about my story um, how my hair is now and what I did um, and then kind of go from there so if you guys are interested in knowing all about my hair if you guys have watched my videos since the beginning you will see that my hair <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh my god that happens way too often <coughs> I don't know what it is about being pregnant, but breathing and talking at the same time becomes very difficult. I choked on a freezy and drinking water this week. And it's so embarrassing in the office when <clears throat> all you can do is cough. <coughs> oh lordy. Anyways, sorry about that guys. Oh. So embarrassing. Anyways, my hair story. So back when I was in high school, I went through kind of a punk rock phase. At the beginning of my punk rock phase was grade nine, Ashley Simpson's haircut. She just came out with her album. It was dark, it had the bangs. Um, that was like what I wanted. So I went to the salon with my mom and I got bangs. Now my hair, if you guys know, is very, very thick. Um, and bangs did not work on me at all. And back in grade nine, this is 2002, 2003. Um, yeah, I think it was 2002. My, um, my hair was really, really thick and coarse, still is, um, but straighteners and hot hair tools were not as advanced as they are now. So I had like a big thick fabulous hair straightener and I was trying to make those bangs work but they were just cut way too thick and I swore never ever ever to allow myself to do bangs ever again and I've never done it. So like right across. I've had like side bangs of course but never like straight across. So um after that, when they started to grow out, I kind of went through a phase of coloring it different colors. So I had a friend who thought it would be a good idea to use um, household bleach um, to make more bleach out of the bleach we bought from Shoppers Drug Mart, which is a pharmacy um, drugstore, um, kind of like a Rexall or um, what do you guys have in the States? I'm blanking on the name. But, um, yeah, like, sort of like an Ulta. And, um, yeah, just like an Ulta. And so we bought hair bleach. We tried to make the front of my hair, for some reason, I don't know why we did this, but just the front, um, bleach blonde. And we ran out of hair dye because my hair is so thick, so she put household bleach in that. And we were waiting for it to set, it was about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes in when my mom showed up to pick me up after school. She showed up early and we panicked. Like I was washing it out. I was like, oh my God, my mom's gonna kill me, blah, 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 blah. Rushed out to the car and I'm sitting there in the front seat and she's like, do you smell that? Do you smell like bleach? Like why do you smell like bleach? And I, ugh, I was like, well, we were trying to put blonde in my hair and it didn't work because I was still a brunette. Like it did not have enough time to do anything on my hair. So after that, I actually did go and purchase another like three boxes. I figured three boxes would be good and I did it myself at home. So I was bleach blonde right here and the rest was really, really dark. And I decided to dye those bleach blonde pieces blue with Manic Panic. Um, green because it faded to green um, pink 
purple. If I can find a picture, I know there's one haunting me out there. I will insert it here. If not, um, you'll just have to trust me. It was those colors. And basically, um, my mom was like, if you want to keep wearing these colors in your hair and dressing in funny clothes, I'm going to take you out of the school you're in and put you in a different school. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll go back to my dark hair, da, 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 da. So I went back to brunette. And when I went to the salon to do this, because my mom took me to the salon to fix it, he kept saying that because Manic Panic is a metallic dye that it was really hard to get out and to cover. So it did take a few sessions to get me to my natural color. And I would say for like two or three years, I didn't do anything to my hair. Um, when I was in grade 12, going into college, that's when I started experimenting again with my hair. So I did have a couple of years there where it, um, it recuperated from that. Um, then in college, I highlighted my hair normally, like from the salon, but like only like little bits, nothing like this. Um, and then I'd get bored and dye it over. And then and I wasn't really adventurous in college at all with my hair. It was when I graduated that I started doing my hair myself. So I went completely blonde in the summer of 2012, I think. Yeah, so I'll show you a picture here. I was very, very, very blonde. If you guys are on my Instagram, you guys have seen this photo for a throwback Thursday. Um, I was super blonde. My hair was so fried. And um, I loved it, but I hated how dead it was. So I covered it all with dark brown. A couple of months went by and um, actually I met, I met my fiance when I was a blonde. <laughs> so I always ask him, you know, do you prefer me a blonde? Do you prefer me a brunette? And he said I look pretty anyway that I have my hair and he doesn't have a preference. So I'm pretty lucky in the sense that uh, you know, he loves all the looks, but he does say that the best look on me, even though he doesn't have a preference, is my natural brown curly hair. So, um, yeah, I guess you look good in what you were blessed with. So, after I went brunette, I got really bored again and decided to go red. So, red on top of brunette doesn't look as um, bright, so I purchased... Actually, no, I had bleach reserves still from when I went blonde. Um, so I would put highlights in my hair with my own bleach at home, taking off the brown and then putting a red dye on top. I was doing that um, almost every four or five weeks to get brighter and brighter red. I had that for about six, seven, eight months and then I got tired of that because it was so high maintenance and then decided to go ombre. <laughs> this is when I dyed all my roots brown and I bleached the heck out of the ends of my hair. And I'll show you a picture of that here. The ends were really, really, really fried. I think the stylist that I went to go see afterwards said that it wasn't actually that bad, but I didn't like how dry and damaged it felt. So I went to a hair salon in October of last year and this was the first time I went to a salon in forever. It was downtown, so it was very, very, very expensive. They charged me like 300 and something dollars to put a semi-permanent hair color on the ends and a dark root color to cover my grays. And I cried. I left crying and I argued with them because they charged me so much money and I didn't understand why. And they never quoted me that in person beforehand so I didn't think it was gonna be outrageous like that so I swore off of going to a salon ever again so time went past and I was um, I was just coloring my roots with the brown and um, I would do the odd highlight like that's when you guys saw like random streaks of blonde in my hair um, no method to my madness there and um, 
I started to get really bored with how much hair I had and I decided to cut it all off. And that was two months ago. And I got my fiance to cut the bottom layer. I said, okay, this is roughly where I want my hair to be. Can you cut it? He's like, yep, he cuts it. It was way shorter than I wanted it to be, but I ran with it. So I used that as my guide and cut the rest of my hair. The haircut was not perfect still not perfect but it was okay and it it was it was lighter and I could still style it and it was great um, then I think that was at the early 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 pregnancy because I stopped coloring my hair in the first trimester I think I dyed it once when I was like two three four weeks pregnant and then I did not dye my hair up until um, last week so my grays I have a lot of grays here here like on the side so when I pull up my hair on the ponytail they're just everywhere so I was like I cannot stand it they were like this long because in pregnancy your hair grows pretty quickly and my hair grows really fast anyways so to see to see that much gray, like it was so noticeable that my grandmother who has cataracts and has had cataract surgery to remove them, noticed across the room that I had blonde hair. So, I mean, white hairs. So I had to get rid of that quickly. So I sent this picture, I'll show you here. This is my inspiration photo um, of, of this model with her highlights. And I was like, that is what I want. I'm hoping like a darker root and then that blonde um, highlighted look to kind of camouflage, you know, upcoming gray hairs and whatnot. So I went to a salon near my work and that is when, if you guys are on Instagram, you saw me with the foils in my hair. And I did do a video after that hair appointment so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but it did not come out anywhere near what it was supposed to look like. It came out as ombre, like dark from here to here and then highlights at the bottom, but they were so dark. So I sent them an email and I said, hey, like this isn't anything like the picture and also all of the grays on the top did not take the dark color. So I had all these grays here still and it wasn't anything like the picture. So I sent them the pictures and I sent them my picture and I'll show you guys that here. Um, and I was like, this isn't, this. I'm not happy. So they're like, you know what, come in, we'll redo all of the highlights and the um, chocolate color to cover the grays on the top. So that is where I am today. So uh, what's really cool about this long salon is that they use Olaplex if you guys have heard of it, it is an additive to a decolorizer or a bleach or a color to ensure that the hair is not damaged during the coloring process and it actually can reverse previous damage. So they add it to the bleach or the decolorizer and whatnot and then there's like a treatment that goes on your hair after they wash out the color and tone. So. That's what they did. They used a decolorizer on me from here down in foils and then covered the root in a darker color. They used a cooler toner um, and then they used the second step of the Olaplex, which if you guys don't know what Olaplex is, like I mentioned what it was, um, check it out on YouTube and find a salon near you because honestly, my hair went super light. So I don't know if you guys can see how light this is, but um, my hair here, each strand, so when I was in the bowl, I was like, hey, can you show me uh, a highlighted piece? And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. So he like pulled it and he showed me and I did this like the test, like I pulled on it and I like stringed it through my fingers and when I used to bleach my hair at home, I used a bleach, he used a decolorizer, which is, there is a difference. Um, it would be mush. It would be mush and it would be really light mush and it would just break at the ends. And when I did that test, the Olaplex, it was super strong and I was so excited. That means I can go lighter than I've ever gone and have no damage. So I was super excited about that. 
So this is what my hair looks like now. I'll take it down for you guys so you guys can see. Um, I freaking love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I may go lighter in like August or something because I just, I love switching my hair up. But it's exactly what I wanted the second time around. So I'm super, super happy with it. And that is my hair story. So I learned how to do my hair on my own um, by watching YouTube videos, by having a friend in the industry, and also taking cosmetology when I was in high school. I knew a lot about coloring, cutting, perms, all of that. So I was very um, skilled, I guess, already. And I did used to dye my mom's hair, my aunt's hair. Okay, what was I talking about? I got a, like three FaceTime calls in a row and it did, yeah, anywho. Never cut anyone else's hair, but I've only dyed, styled for special occasions, etc. So I have a lot of experience doing it on myself and a couple of others. So if you don't have any experience and you don't have any knowledge or training or education, I wouldn't recommend trying it. But I'm pretty, pretty talented with doing it myself because I've had so many years of practice doing it and the education behind it. So yeah, that's my hair story. I'm really, really, really happy with how it feels now. It feels really healthy, even though it's been highlighted, to, like extensively highlighted, but it feels really, really healthy and I'm super, super happy. And uh, yeah, so if you guys were interested, that is my hair story. I love watching hair story videos and seeing kind of like where people's hair has been and kind of what you kind of default to because I find like you'll always go back to the same look even if you change it up. At least I do. I always go back to like a heavy highlighted look. That's just what I love. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Much love. Take care. Have a great night. Bye.